Hi, I'm Barry John, and welcome back to level six or descent, I should say. And crap, 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 crap. Quick, uh, wow. I, I need not wasting any time. No, huh? quick, I need uh, I need a head count. Did the thief bot get anybody? Uh, well, I'm Speedball, and that's Leia Light. And yep, that's me. Uh, crap. Wow, that's Man, a that squirrely... guy's in your face. Yeah, it's a squirrely little guy, isn't he? Yeah, that is, so... Yeah, he's jumpy. There's something down there. I don't know what yet, but there's something. <laughs> <laughs> they give you a smart missile. They know what's up. I wish we dealt with Heaton as a bot instead. He's easier. <laughs> so, we've had plenty of time to play around in the sandbox at the last level, but I guess they're uh, trying to be more tricky now. Yep. Uh, the music is really, uh, really jamming this time. It's, just... it's definitely a... And our friend the Hexagon is back, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, there... the energy Hexagon. Whoa! Uh... So he's gonna keep trying to come for us every time. So if we just camp out here, can we get him, or...? It's not the best option. But basically, I'm just trying to wait for him to get crap. He's really good at just flying right in front of you and then kind of through you. Well, that's because technically his hitbox and his, uh, there's, how best do I describe it? Wait, his hitbox, there's hitbox dissonance going on here, basically. So he's able to squeeze through areas that are smaller than his model might suggest. Mm-hmm. But I finally got him down that hallway there, so that's good. Alright, don't have to worry about him for the rest of the entire level. Yep. Yeah, so there's that projectile speed thing going on again. That uh, fox was all the way at the other end of the room, and uh, only a couple seconds after it was firing, those projectiles were reaching you. Mm-hmm. But, uh... First secret passage, and this is how we get to the hostages. Oh, so there's a lot of, uh, it's involved to get to these guys? Yes. Hmm. I mean, I guess you can see the beacon, so you still know the general direction you want to go in, but there could be a lot of twists and turns on the way there. Yep. Uh, these developers like taunting you with goodies that you can see but cannot get to. Oh yeah, that's a classic. It gives you something uh, to work towards. It gives you a goal. I'm glad that we can actually shoot through these grates and they aren't, like, you know, bulletproof glass disguised as a grate. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was really cool at the time, was having these uh, collision masks uh, be actually, like, pixel accurate to the actual texture. Exactly. Now, before we... You guys may have noticed something. Uh, I have a new missile type. The orange Earth? missile. The, Neat. The Merculite missile. Now... It shoots mercenaries. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. No, uh, the Merculite missile is the fast missile. Oh. It's not quite hit scan, but it's ridiculously fast. Also, I like the little story this particular uh, hostage area is. You can see how they've dug a hole out and they're trying to reach the entrance here. And there's that little guy waving in front of the grate there going, Hey, we're over here! We're over here! Come save us! <laughs> Too bad they couldn't animate him with a pickaxe. <laughs> well, you know, they'd have to draw up some more sprites for that. You know, yeah. Memory. Yeah. Who has time for that, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing with, um, with games from this era, they try and make the uh, sprites and the uh, stuff last as long as possible by reusing wherever you can. So oh, that's yeah. why it really stands out whenever they uh, do something that's only ever used once. Uh-huh. Uh, like John Romero's head in Doom. Exactly. <laughs> I love how this guy just flinches all around when I start slamming him with the plasma shots. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, and the cloak certainly makes those little guys a lot easier to deal with, too. Because uh, if they can't see you, they actually don't seem to move around that much. Mm-hmm. Ah! My eyes! Man, at least when enemies cloak, that just means that uh, you can't see them, but you can see the rest of the level. But when you get blinded, it's like the whole level is cloaked. So that's worse. Uh, I think this is one of the earliest instances in games of enemies using flashbangs on you. Uh, Actually, that reminds me, when was Rainbow Siege first uh, released? Because uh, that was around this time, wasn't it? The very first one was the one where you had to plan out the movements of all your soldiers beforehand. Yeah. Let me just say that I approve of ramming uh, claw guys to show dominance. <laughs> <laughs> August 21st, 1998, it says. Okay, sorry, this, this game came out two years before then. And then just... Seeing more claw guys going, yeah, you know what, this is... Probably a good call. Yeah. And the supervisor bot dropped a, uh... Uh, uh dropped an afterburner. Oh, cool. Makes me wonder why he didn't use it then, to get away from you. <laughs> but, there we go. Energy transfer. Now I have 100 energy and 100, or had 168 shields. Well, it's not as though you seem to be in any danger of running out of energy. No, I happen to be in danger of running out of shields. Now you are in danger of running out of shields, though. Wow, you just burned through all of those immediately. Yeah, that, uh... I guess those Vulcans are a little bit more dangerous when you actually hit all those particles at point blank. Jeez. Not, not like those scouts, which might only hit you with one or two of those little red particles. <laughs> All right, so plan A is refresh shields, and then realize that the energy chambers can't raise your shields past 100. Or not shields, oh, your yeah. energy <laughs> can't go past 100. But the that's how they keep the uh, transfer from being too powerful. Mm -hmm. Got to find those drops. God, I remember playing, uh, you know, the X-wing flight simulator and Tie Fighter, where you'd have to balance your shield regeneration against your engine speed and all that. Now that said, you're probably not going to get over 100 if you're uh, using the plasma cannon there, so that's even further incentive to use the Gauss cannon if you have Oh, the yeah. Right. Assuming you don't blow yourself up. That's the problem with these uh, systems. They all interact with one another. Oh, yeah. This game is actually very well designed. How are we going to get to that red key? It's taunting us. It's on your map, so you don't even have to see it for it to taunt you. Actually, that's pretty easy, because I just realized... Oh, crap, got to deal with this. Ah, uh, spotter. Yep. Ah, uh, sadly, you can never farm the enemies that drop shields from a spotter. We done? We're Looks done. like we're done. Yeah. For now. But the important part is I can refresh my energy. Yeah, too bad there aren't shield recharge stations, huh? Oh, oh yeah. I figure the reason they didn't put them in this game is it would be too easy to just camp out and abuse. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be the kind of thing that'd be pretty hard to balance. Oh well, maybe a fan game someday can try that one out. <laughs> yeah. But seriously, regenerating health? What kind of stupidity is that? Uh, man, developers... Oh, there's our exit, finally. De developers resisted regenerating health in video games for so long that even in Sega Genesis Wolverine games, he didn't regenerate very much health, and that's his whole superpower. <laughs> mm, fair enough. <laughs> So, I have 15 shields, 83 energy, and the reactor... And a lot of You're missiles. Fine. That's 15 extra shields. Oh, uh, true. <laughs> 10. Uh, oh, nice 
I stopped do dodging all that when you were still blinded a little. Yeah. Yeah. Time for some long-range combat. Now, remember, guys, this room ha was full of uh, claw guys before I got into the little chamber off to the left and just sniped them out. Oh, those little tadpoles that shoot missiles at you are so mean. Yeah, I mean, it'd be one thing if the flash missiles um, only, uh, like, blinded you if they hit you directly, but even the uh, splash uh, damages you a little bit and blinds you a little bit. Although I think the radius of the blinds a little bit further than the actual damage. Trying to... That is one dangerous shield pickup to get. Yeah, yeah, so I aborted. That's the forbidden fruit there. Ooh, cloaking device. And you know what? I don't care if I only have 21 shields. It's not like it matters if the enemy can't find me. Yep. Time to get the hell out of here. Yeah, just have to remember the way. It's forward to the left. Uh, and then up and out. Oh! Secret door right before the exit. Yep, but it's good enough for me to pick up another Merculite Missile, and I am out of here. Ooh. Just in the nick of time. Oh, nice cutscene. Yeah, I do like some of these reused cutscenes, but they're fun. Wait a second, weren't you 21 seconds ahead of the explosion? Why was it chasing you there? Uh... Dramatic timing. <laughs> the well destroyed. 